and uh, welcome to a collaborative interview with Toonami Faithful and the One Piece podcast here. Uh, here from Anime Boston Live, we have the voice of Frankie and JP, Patrick Seitz. What's up? What's what's up? <laughs> I'm probably that one. Probably that one's supposed to be yours. We set it up that way. And uh, thank you for giving us your time today. It's yeah. a very, very busy con, and we just have a couple of questions for you. Sounds good. And I guess we'll get to, I, I want to get to Redline first, and then we'll save one piece for later. Fine. I want to ask about it. It's such a cool we movie. Can, we, we, it is. We can reach. <laughs> We've I can tell you the One Piece burn. <laughs> we've, only, we've, only, we've only done this like ten times. <laughs> but I, I was just wondering, uh, on that film, how hard was it to lip sync specifically? Because it, it, the animation is so fluid in it. Um, lip sync was tough because there was there were so many other things happening on the screen. I didn't want to look at his mouth. <laughs> I'm like aliens and exploding cars and what's that? I had to like just look at his mouth and talk. I'm like, no, oh, <laughs> um, that, that was okay. That, that one, it wasn't. I've had. I've had weirder flap. <laughs> that was mostly a challenge of the director, Alex Von David, telling me like, a little higher in the voice, less gravel, a little higher, less gravel. And I kept thinking to myself, man, I'm just, I'm just murdering this thing. Um, what have I done? And then when it came out, I was like, oh, no, I, I like it. It worked. Yeah, it's a great tough. I didn't, I didn't mm -hmm. destroy it. Awesome. Yeah, because you know that's not that's not really something you should watch subtitled because you'll miss everything. Yeah, no. If you yeah. watch it, if you're watching that subtitled, you might as well like tape cloth over most of your TV screen because <laughs> that's what you're gonna get. Yeah. Uh, you guys know? One Piece. One Piece. <laughs> What's it like voicing Frankie? No. Um, well, it's been. I think it's been about I think a year since we last had an interview with you because at that time. The first DVDs were coming out with Frankie. Yeah. But now it's it's been a year. Frankie's officially part of the crew, uh, and Frankie's also now on television. Uh, how, how's it been this last year with Frankie? It's been good. I mean, it, it after after the five or six years between a limited adventure <laughs> and getting to voice him in the show, it's very gratifying that mm -hmm. we've finally come to this point. Although I, I must admit, I'm always confused because between where they are in the Japanese where they are with the DVD release, and where they are on TV, I'm like, wait, so has he yet, have they, he did the thing with the, no, he, uh, <laughs> this is too much like math, um, but it's, it's been good, and, and, and people's, uh, I mean, maybe they just, you know, give me a thumbs up and then walk by and cry into their beer, but people's reaction <laughs> so far has been pretty positive for mm -hmm. how, differently I do the voice in English and the Japanese. I mean, I know, I've seen online in the land of, you know, YouTube trolls, that's been a point of contention <laughs> with YouTube. Yeah. Don't, don't read the comments. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the subhumans. Um, <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, it's, it's one of those things where there's some people that I think would be happy, very happy if I did it, just like the Japanese, other people would be like, that. no, don't. Don't do that. No, please don't do that in English. It doesn't. Not that it's not good. It just doesn't translate. No one could speak like him. Like, yeah, that's, that's the most unique voice. I know. It's. I love. I love the different take on it. It's a. It's. It almost makes it like a different character in, in a good. In a good way. Well, if, if I could be honest, when I. <laughs> if I could be honest. Really could be honest <laughs> you weren't <laughs> that. Uh, no. When, when I was first introduced to the character, long before even. Formation dub existed. It was like long before you. Yeah, it was long before your time. Because uh, I'm actually 80 years old. Uh, no, I knew it. Uh, Looking good. <laughs> he trekked through the snow for the no. One Piece back then. He's dead. The <laughs> Kurgan. <laughs> okay. Um, no, when I first saw the character in the manga, you know, Kazuki Yao, that voice was not the voice I was hearing. It's It was more like the voice that, you know, we have, you know, your voice. I think. Really, um, the yeah. interpretation of the characters, like you see a dude with Popeye arms, you know, <laughs> six pack. I, I was generally thinking something a lot speed deeper. Up. And then, like, oh, they're going with the guy that voiced Django and Bon Clay? It's, and to me, it was weird, but then so I'm like, oh, okay, now I know why Oda wanted to voice. But mm -hmm. uh, it's like we said, you, you, you're, you're not going to be yeah. It's not, it's just saying it's a completely different take. So let's, thing, yeah. let's do something that's more relatable to the translation. And I think, I, I think, I, I definitely think anime fans over the years have matured a lot more and they know what makes sense. You still get those people saying, but, but, but can't you just <laughs> teach him English so he can <laughs> so he can <laughs> <laughs> that still happens. We tried that time. once. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just to sum up my rambling, I just, I think <laughs> the interpretation is exactly what, 
you know, what I would have wanted, and it's it's just been an awesome ride so far. It's thank you. It, well, <laughs> it's something like back when I first you know, did the voice for the the, the game auditions. That it was, I, I didn't get in my own head about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, now I would because I know, like, oh crap, it's a big deal, and look at the internet, and sort of thing. Back then I didn't, I just went with, okay, here's what the dude looks like. Like, let's, what do I think that would sound like? You know, it just sort of happened naturally. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't know enough at the time to overthink it, because <laughs> I would have gotten in my own head, and I would have just yeah. stepped all over myself. So, there's, there's something to be said for ignorance sometimes. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you that's not One Piece related, sorry. What? <laughs> You're also a writer on Toonami. What do you call them? The tangent. <laughs> but we, uh, you're also a writer on Space Jam, and I wanted to ask you about that process because you guys are working so quickly to turn these scripts around for the dub, which is premiering here first. Yes. That is, it, it's a masochistic challenge. <laughs> I like, no, there's, I mean, there's something to be said for like, all right, I have a day and a half. <laughs> To adapt this episode, not only adapted but adapted well and and you know to my satisfaction and to their satisfaction and you know in a caliber that you know you can put on TV is going to be good. It, it's tough. I mean, we we sort of live in readiness, and when the dandy script drops, it's uh, drop everything else and get comfy at the computer for the next 36 hours. Uh, just uh, how how quickly those translators have to like turn that around to get that to you guys? How closely are you working with them? The trans. I mean, they have. I'm not sure exactly how much time they have, but I know they're banging it out quick. And as soon as they are done, we get it. We get about 36 hours with it, and then off it goes. Wow. wow. Uh, yeah, no, this, this is a very, very quick process. But uh, I think I think watching the final product, listening to the final product, yeah. it, it doesn't it doesn't play like a show that's being put out in a fraction of the time. Yeah, yeah, you guys I mean, are killing it. It's it's a, I love that show, and I'm I'm so happy that the reception for it on online and oh it's the ratings are yeah. killing like we're yeah, actually yeah. doing better than some of the late night shows on weekdays. Wow, it's been beating the regular you know like regular shows that have been doing it last it, year. It, 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 it beats like uh it beats like Daily Show some nights. Yeah, damn, and like Conan. Well, no, like that. the equivalent of since it's sorry Conan. <laughs> He'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he'll find comfort in his own yeah. millions of dollars. The role in his <laughs> screech wing uh, right. You do the adaptive writing. Do you do the like the time coding as well? Like for for my what what many of us do, many of us have someone that we turn to for our time coding because mm -hmm. if you do it before if you do it while you're adapting your concept to switch focus from like find the frame to think of a line and it, it's jarring to go back and forth do right. wise. Yeah. That said, if you do all the time coding beforehand, that's just one more obstacle in your way to getting into the script. So many of us subcontract out. I have my girlfriend do my time coding, which is great because she's <laughs> very detail oriented and I am not that's, so that's much my, uh, the detail yeah. oriented. <laughs> um, and it just works out works out great for her. A lot of great conversations where she'll be like, see I'm perplexed across the room and I'll be like, hmm. She'll be like, yeah, that's what it was. So <laughs> sometimes I get to be a lab rat for her, for her marking of, of reacts, which is fun. And then she's like, no, that wasn't. I'm like, no, I can do it better. I turned into such an actor. I'll do it again. I can do it better. I swear. Just give me another chance. Uh, now to completely go back to One Piece. To oh. One? Is it to, to One Piece? To One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> one piece. <laughs> You're on Tsunami. <laughs> one Piece is on Tsunami. Yeah, it's Your house is all over Tsunami. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But it's, it's really it's because of One Piece. Though. It's because of One Piece. That's <laughs> not uh, there's two of us. In one <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so you were talking about all the different places in the series and getting a little bit confused about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Where where are you? Uh, I guess what what are you following and where are you and I, how are you um, liking wherever you may be? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I I'm in this weird place. I'm not I'm not I don't want to spoil it on myself, so I'm not following the Japanese. Really. Okay. Uh, so I'm in this weird sort of parallel dimension between where we're at recording the show in English and then where it's at watching it on TV. Although I've had the worst luck these last couple of weeks tuning in to watch either I fall asleep or I get the time wrong or something comes <laughs> up or I decide that it's, you know, one in the morning and I should go buy groceries. Just, <laughs> I've got no one to blame but myself for that. Um, <laughs> that said, God willing, tonight I'm going to live tweet along with Space Dandy and then, um, at least watch one piece because I really yeah. like where they're at. Well, we'll yeah. be yeah. tweeting in focus. Oh, if, unless we're at a concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Because I'm tweeting in the concert. Because I tweet One Piece at the concert. So it's like, you can't oh, videotape this. No, it's okay. He's just watching One Piece. <laughs> we actually, there's an app on my phone that I can actually screen Tsunami to my phone. Okay, then we'll. So we'll just watch it on my phone while we're at the concert and live tweet at the same yeah. time. So that's how we'll do it. No one has to know. Nerds! Uh, so we also have, we I also also have one other up. person with us. <laughs> we have one person with us. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself, or should I introduce yeah, That would be proper. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, that'd be proper chopper. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm, I'm Greg Werner. Hey. Um, I work with the One Piece podcast, and um, we've talked before, actually. Uh, yeah. We did during the Anime Fans Get Back uh, interview, and that was, that was really a lot of fun. But uh, I'm here today, actually, to show you something special, uh, something that I brought uh, all the way from Japan uh, to show you. This is actually from uh, one of the animation directors uh, of uh, One Piece. Sure, thank you very much. And this is uh, this is Frankie. That's amazing looking. Uh, it's um, you know, I, I may have mentioned this. I don't know how many times the podcast fans know this, but. Uh, I was originally a Zorro fan, and uh, everybody around me, because my wife said, you know, you're not Zorro, you're, you're more like Frankie. <laughs> so it just became like, like everybody was like, so you like Frankie, right? And, and I got all this Frankie merchandise and stuff. So when I met the, 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 uh, the animator, he was like, oh, you like Frankie. So he drew me. <laughs> you're like, yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, I'm a Frankie fan now. <laughs> I'm your private dancer. <laughs> <laughs> dancer for Frankie. Uh, but it, it didn't end there. Um, I, through uh, a series of, of television uh, appearances uh, related to One Piece and some trivia battles and things, um, I became involved with one of the, the Shueisha publications, uh, V Jump. It's a video game magazine, mm -hmm. and I write articles and things for them. And yes. through that, I came to uh, associate with the author of One Piece, Mr. Eiichiro uh, Oda, and he drew Frankie. <laughs> it, it, the only thing stopping me from like mugging you and running for it is the two cameras. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'll kneel behind him. You guys knock him back. <laughs> I'll run like 40 feet. I'll be winded. <laughs> You'll walk over, take it back for you. I'll be like, I'm, I'm, I had, I had to try. <laughs> So we, uh, we, we, we really wanted to, to show you this today. That um, is amazing. And like, get exactly the reaction that you just gave us. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have mugged you. You're like, the reaction we got was even more than we expected. <laughs> Stop, oh, sorry. I didn't think I could choke out someone wearing a chopper hat. I learned something new about myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, little dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers my next question. Can you speak Frankie? No. Um, um, how much more time we got? I have no idea. One minute. Okay. One minute. Uh, in closing, um, you have one minute to run. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you 60 second head start, and then I'm coming for you. In closing, uh, it's going to be one piece so tough. Uh, <laughs> uh, how have you seen Frankie change since, since he's officially joined the crew? Yeah. And where do you like to see him go in season six? Well, or I like that he's you know? no longer just like pulling chunks of the ship off of the ship. <laughs> that was Bruce like, yeah. your ship's dumb. <laughs> I'm an old yeller at Chong. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm glad he stopped doing that. I mean, I realize now they're on the ship that he built, so he's not going to suddenly start like breaking chunks of it off. But that was brutal. I like later he's like, "Oh, that was that was mean. I should have I should have not done that. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just glad that he's like part of the crew, and he's got he's got his little skeleton friend. <laughs> <laughs> he loved Brooke so much. And that works because I love Ian, so it's not even acting. Yeah. I just have to like remember to say. You know, skeleton dude instead of Ian. <laughs> Don't be like, I love that Ian Sinclair so much. <laughs> Let's get his shadow back. <laughs> well, that's good about do it. Uh, Patrick, once again, always a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, likewise. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. And, uh, yeah, Tsunami. 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 <laughs> Watch that Tsunami. Right. Watch that one. <laughs> On Tsunami at 1 a.m. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> go, 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 go. Get out of here. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay. <laughs>